Welcome back to Afternoon Break. Well, women make up nearly half of the U.S. workforce, but according to the latest census data, only 27 percent work in a field related to science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, also known as STEM. Chad Maria Transit's executive director and CEO Faye DeMassimo is being recognized as one of the most influential women in Georgia engineering. She joins me now to discuss this honor. Congratulations, Faye. Oh, thank you so very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, we're so glad you're here. Now let's start from the beginning. Take us to that point in your life when you really discovered that passion for engineering. Absolutely. So I actually started off in architecture in, uh, in college and but really developed a passion for community planning mm. which is all about how the design of communities the engineering of communities the policy framework of communities all the social aspects of communities how does that all come together right. to build the places that people can thrive um, and enjoy their lives and so forth and so that's really where the the you know the I guess the flame spark. started the spark started <laughs> the and slow burn the slow burn started and um, and then um, was um, had an internship um, in a an engineering role with a regional planning commission um, for the uh, transportation work and so I've been doing transportation work ever since there you are. Well, who has influenced you along this journey? It's been 40 years working in this industry for you. Sure. The very first person who influenced me was my mom. She was someone who, you know, was really quite ahead of her time. Mm -hmm. um, my dad served in the Korean War and then World War II, and she was a career woman. Um, and, um, and then also was a mom. Um, and so it was just she, watching her and watching her be able to figure out that balance of all of those things and to um, you know enjoy a good long career and uh, you know she was just she's she's somebody that I will always think about in terms of of what a leadership journey looks like as you move into this own mentorship that will you'll the, the flip will, the switch will be flipped if you will right you're going to be a mentor to others what does influence mean to you um, influence is I think a lot of things influence is I think the best influence is the quiet influence. Mm -hmm. There's lots of way to be, lots of ways to be influence an influencer in a in a much more sort of you know out there kind of way. Mm -hmm. But the influencers um, that the kind that I want to be and the kind that matter most to me and the ones that I value the most are the people who are just doing the quiet work mm -hmm. um, behind the scenes, leading by example, uh, leading by example, mm -hmm. um, not necessarily very showy about it at all. Um, but they're doing that hard, good work, mm -hmm. again, to make sure that the pathway for um, the young women who are, are, are coming behind us, um, that their path is maybe a little easier um, and, that, um, and that we have, we've, we've made them proud. Mm -hmm. As you touched on, this is oftentimes a male-dominated field. So talk about the obstacles that you've experienced and how you've overcome them. Well, I, I, I know I clearly remember that the, the very first meetings I went into um, as, a, as a young college grad and in the transportation sector, um, most thought that I was there to take the notes. Um, and so you had, to, you had to help sort of reframe and reset that wow. expectation That's right. of um, I'm here actually in a, with a different value to add. Um, certainly our administrative professionals add great value too, but I was here to add a different value. Mm -hmm. um, and you had to do that in a way that, again, you were, you were trying to, you were asked the question about influence. You were trying to influence um, the environment and the conversation in a way that you were assertive, but assertive in a way that was easily accepted, mm -hmm. um, that, that built c collaborations and relationships and bridges rather than um, be off-putting or um, those kinds of things. Now you're coming up on a year with CAT. Where do you see this program in a year? What's your vision? Oh, so CAT uh, has had such a remarkable year. Um, and I think that if you look at CAT, I'm actually going to push it out a little bit further. If you look Great. at CAT in, say, 2035, um, I think that you're going to see our fixed route system is going to be one that is uh, more robust um, maybe maybe um, a, a different route structure, but more robust in a way. Mm -hmm. You're going to see um, our existing paratransit service serving those that are seniors and those that are differently abled in the community mm -hmm. um, at a very high quality. You're going to see the microtransit services, so on-demand transit 
um, that's wow. of a scale, a much more neighborhood kind of scale. I think you're going to see um, that fully throughout Chatham County in 10 years. Um, and I think you're going to see, I know you're going to see new ferries on the water soon because yes. we've got two that are in production right now. Wow. Um, and then I think you're going to continue to see, um, especially in the next year, some very intentional um, expansions of the dot shuttle, which is the fare free shuttle that serves downtown Forsyth Park, also serves over to Carver Heights and Cloverdale right. neighborhoods and up to um, Victory. So I think you're going to continue to see some expansions mm -hmm. of that zero fare service in a way that makes a, a stronger reach into the community right. and uh, serves to build the equity in our and community. It's so impactful in a time right now where inflation is just really suffocating a lot of families. Now, the magazine, let's get back to this magazine, the edition features women from all over the state of Georgia. I really want to talk about the impact on a grander scope for you. What does this mean to you? What, oh. what would you like to use this platform for? Well, I mean, I think a couple things. One is to continue to build that path forward mm -hmm. for the generations of, yes. of younger women that are coming yes. behind us. But also um, just um, such a matter, not of personal pride, but professional pride in the fact that of those hundred women, I've probably worked over the course of the last 42 years um, and the 25 that I've been in, actually 25 plus that I've been in Georgia, I have worked with probably, I don't know, uh, well over half of all of them. Wow. So I know them and I know what their influence has been and I know what their journeys have been and I see how they change the world every day. And so it's a moment of, of professional um, pride yes. to think about our collective impact and efforts. Um, and the fact that we can use that to help build that path forward for the younger women that are coming behind us. And I'm glad that you brought that up. What advice would you give to the gals out there that are maybe lacking that you know, experience and confidence to really take on a career, a STEM career? Absolutely, go for it, try it. Mm -hmm. If it's your passion, don't be deterred by anybody for any reason. Mm -hmm. and, um, and there are many of us who are always eager to serve as mentors. Um, to just be a brainstorming session for you mm -hmm. um, and we're we're eager and ready to do those things but it's the it's the notion of believe in yourself because we believe in you yeah. um, and go for it and reach out for that help and that mentorship before you leave what would you like your legacy to be look at your retirement down the road what would you like your legacy sure. to be uh, to know that uh, we made a difference in people's lives every day Mm -hmm. um, to know that somebody's life is better today. In fact, we say that at CAT. Um, our team has a, a, a sort of a conversation, a running conversation we have about when you get out of bed in the morning, when your feet hit the floor, the first thing you need to think about is how am I going to use today to make somebody's life in Chatham County a little better? Um, how are we going to use CAT services to make somebody's life a little bit better? Um, and that should also be the last thing you think about right before you go to sleep at night is mm -hmm. how are you going to do it again tomorrow? So. On that note, congratulations, Faye. Thank you for sharing your story. Oh, thank you. Can't wait to see how these improvements make such a big impact here in the Coastal Empire. Friends, stick around. We have so much more Afternoon Break coming up.